Hey guys, David Risley here with PCMac.com, and I thought I'd do something a little different, and that is do something with the iPhone. Now, I, I am an iPhone user, and uh, I'm also a user of Google Calendar, and apparently, uh, not too long ago, Google has actually set up a way to sync your calendar and your contacts, if you want, over to your iPhone, and uh, basically take advantage of the calendar application, which is already on here, and, and just populated with data from the uh, from my Google Calendar. Now, I personally don't really care about my Google Contacts right now. I might tackle that at some other point, but right now I just want to get my calendar on here. And what I thought I'd try to do is to uh, to show you me doing it and uh, and uh, you know see how it actually works. So let's let's go over to my iPhone screen here. Let me move the camera. We'll focus in on the iPhone and we'll uh, actually go to town on this. Okay, so we're here looking at my iPhone here, uh, and I'm, I'm actually going to start going through the procedure here as Google outlines it here. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go over to settings, and then we're going to go down to the uh, mail contacts and calendars. We're going to add an account. It looks like we've got Gmail in here, but I think that's for getting my uh, actual email in here. Add account, we're going to go actually with Microsoft Exchange. And then we're actually going to uh, to set up the uh, email field, domain, all that stuff. So let me uh, go take a quick pause. I'm going to go ahead and enter this because it'll be boring to watch me do it. Okay, I've entered the uh, the uh, my username and password here, my email, and then I'm going to go ahead and click Next up here at the top. I'm able to verify certificate. Let's go ahead and do that. Hit Accept. Okay, now it says to uh, enter a new server field, enter m.google.com, so we'll go ahead and do that, m.google.com, hit next, and we're verified here. Now, I don't want to sync my contacts in this particular case, but I do want to sync my calendar, so we're going to go ahead and turn that on, hit save. Syncing will exchange will remove your existing calendars from your iPhone. I don't really care because I don't have much on here that's that useful right now. Are you sure you want to continue? All existing calendars will be removed from your iPhone. Yes. And you can see it says configuring sync for exchange. It's actually uh, apparently doing its thing right now. Okay, so we're sitting here uh, looking at my Gmail account. Now, one thing that I need to apparently do is I need to tell Google which of my calendars to actually sync. So let's uh, find a uh, open tab here, and we're going to go to uh, let's see here m dot google dot com and slash sync. Let's see what happens here. iPhone, that's cool. Alright, good. So I've got a list of calendars here that I can actually choose to sync up. So uh, what I'm actually going to do is choose, I think I can select, it says I can select up to five calendars to sync. Uh, unfortunately, that's not really enough for me, but I'm just going to have to sync uh, up the ones that make the most sense for what I need to get done. Okay, I've got five calendars selected here. Now, the one at the top uh, for my actual Gmail account, apparently I'm forced <laughs> to, to select that one. I couldn't unselect it if I tried. So I selected four other ones. Uh, I went being that I use a lot I use several different calendars on here for different purposes I went ahead and selected the ones that for me made most sense as I would might need them on the go such as conferences or consulting uh, things that I might do whatever and then just scroll up a little bit hit save calendar selection uh, successful so uh, this thing should start to sync now we're gonna go back over to my calendar app And it's set to sync uh, on a schedule, however, if I leave this open for a little bit, it should start to sync automatically. Yep, it's just changed color. 
it hasn't pulled in the other calendars yet, but I don't know. I forgot what calendars I chose, but uh, let's go back to, yeah, it's, it's got other, other stuff in here now. So it, it is actually, uh, it is actually syncing properly here, which is nice. So that's pretty much how you do it. It's not, it's not perfect, mainly because it, it's, it's still got some limitations to it, unfortunately, but, um, but it is, it is a lot better than nothing. I mean, it's kind of like a cheap man's exchange server, really. So there's one other thing I wanted to mention here, uh, is, and that is to have push enabled on the iPhone. So we're going to go over here to settings once again. Uh, actually, it looks like fetch new data. It is set to push right now on this particular phone. So you'll want to make sure this is set to on because that's, that's how it's going to actually uh, to do this automatically for you. And I'm going to go ahead and for now, I'm going to set it up as every 15 minutes. Actually, you know what? I'm going to set it for an hour. It doesn't need to be done that often. And uh, let's see what's under advanced. Yeah, we should be good there. And that should be fine. So it should uh, start to sync. It's going to take a little bit of time to actually get the calendar, but it should actually start to sync here in just a bit. So that wasn't too bad. Uh, and it, it works pretty well here uh, you know it's and it's actually convenient for me because I actually use it for a PC Mac premium member you guys are going to be seeing a video very shortly about how I use Google Calendar and I'm actually going to take you inside of my calendar I'm going to show you how I use it and uh, and what I use it for and uh, you know especially for premium members after you've seen that video you might have a, a use for syncing it with your phone now I'm doing it on an iPhone here but the thing to keep in mind is that you don't have to have an iPhone to use this you, it'll also work on other types of phones I think it'll work on Windows Mobile I don't have it in front of me on the screen here but Windows Mobile and, uh, and of course I think Android powered phones Symbian which I think is from Nokia so you don't need an iPhone so basically if you got a phone that is a smartphone you should be able to do this and again it's all free so it's pretty cool so anyway uh, my name is David Risley again I'll see you guys later